Hey guys, Super Turner here. Welcome back to Let's Play La Moana 2. So this guy here, Brock, and his brother, Etria. Etria, yes. They are both of the Inet of the fifth children. So presumably, the room which he said we can now access to uh, get some treasury left behind, or the one of them left behind, we can access in the Gate of the Dead. So we'll just have to find their room and... I am getting the crap kicked out of me because these enemies are dumb. Um, I'm just gonna go this way around. All right. I don't like these enemies at all. Part of me doesn't even really want to do the puzzles in this area. Room of Dark, or yeah, the Room of the Dark Knight. This is the Room of... Decapitation? Decapitation, yes. We've already solved one of the puzzles in this room. Blacksmith's room. Hmm. That block wasn't there before. And no, it wasn't. This is effectively the brothers doing to allow us to... Or giving us the ability to solve this puzzle now. And we're going to have to do a bunch of back and forth jumping to move this block all over gravity in order to get it to where it belongs. Which is right there. Mostly. Push it back. And we can get this chest we couldn't get before, which holds the anchor. That is the wrong button. The anchor. Cut from special rock. Repurpose it as a weight to sink effortlessly in water and stand in the depths. You can now basically walk along the surface. Um, is there a mantra in this area? I think there is. There probably is. I think at least every area has at least one mantra. Um, I should have the money. I have to figure out where the shopkeeper is. It should be the two above us. Have we met off? Each generation of children has been sealed off into the branches to ensure that they do not allow their respective wars to spill over to the outside world. They were sealed away long, long ago, but now a race of the six children known as the Locopala have taken control of Yggdrasil. We have no intention of leaving this place either. If you plan to seal off Iglana, then I will tell you this. Many things in Iglana have been sealed off with the power of mantras. The most powerful mantras are hidden. I know the words used to call upon the mantra of the moon. The word is sun, the moon's opposite. I will save that, because that is an important hint to figure out how to get to these, get to that mantra. But, we we do currently have sun, so we could go get moon right now. Moon isn't exactly one we require at this second. You must be in the right space, or the task at hand will not work to your favor. True. True. Oh, wait, another Dark Star Lord's foot, uh, dark, another one of the Dark Star Lord's footprints. I'm upside down! Okay. Um. You are the shopkeeper, yes? Yes. Welcome. Buy, select. I will buy, bounce shot. Game app, 200 GOK. Okay? Thanks. Ah, I wanted to catch that before it went up. Oh, well, now we just have to wait for it to come back down. You can see over there that there is a, um, a glossary entry hidden among the spikes. Which I will be able to get by falling down like this. Are, uh, is that a fairy? Who is that? Yes, that is a fairy that we would not have met yet. We will be meeting her in time. Um, what is the next... Is there... There has... I'm pretty sure there's a mantra in here. Hmm. Yeah, this is the point where I kind of blindly wander around. This is Amin. We've already met for him. We've already told us all of this. Um, right. We do need to flip over... We need to find a place to flip the uh, surroundings over so we can access that chest. Is there one down here I can access? Yes, right here. Now that we are upside down. 
I have to climb back up to get to the chest. Whatever. But that chest is now open. And inside is a sacred orb giving us more health. Um, so we have about half-ish the maximum health in this game. Let's hit this side up as well. Even though we're upside down. But am I also right side up? Uh, Neckbat, you are a thing of interest. Alright. I... There's more on the right side. I can get over to there using the Holy Grail tablet easier, though. So let's do that! Um... Right, I need to actually flip things around again. Where I want to be is off to the right here. This area is... It's more disorienting than I like. Um... Nope, we have the boots to hold onto the ground. And we have this. So we can get over to... I was just afraid I had just ruined all of that by falling too far. We will have to get here with stuff flipped upside down to get to that. Though... Don't... I hate you, Medjib. There. The Armana acquired a colossal weapon, Aten. From its body, modeled after the sun, sprout many arms, representing the sun. New life is created from these arms. Sounds like the boss is going to be a summoner type. Fun. Will you die? What crap is he jumping into? So, I'm stuck in here? Hmm. I guess we are kind of upside down. I have to be over here in this area, the right side up. So let me warp back out of here again. Flip everything the correct direction. As I can do right over here. Hate you! I hate these red caps. Because they are small, difficult to hit. Like, all the enemies in this area are obnoxious. They are fast moving, tiny, or just kind of warped. Uh, this direction? Yes. Um, actually, now that I have double jump, I can just do this. So, that's... Puzzle. I'm gonna have to come back here to actually get that reward, however. What's this over here? There's a fairy who bestows prosperity. They will bring the treasure fairy... Aruna will uh, barely obtain prosperity. All right. Mm-hmm. Let just access this. I'm just curious here because he was jumping in this area and it was weird. Unless... I guess it was nothing. Of course, now I need to... We're back up to the top! Because I need to do the thing I did in the first place to run over there and get the thing, which is a thing. You are. I hate red caps so much. Alright, turn you on, make the jump across. Fall down because, of course, I do. Oy. Yeah, hard mode wouldn't really have been hard. It just would have been obnoxious. What's this? Crystal Skull! Alright, we have another one of those. Um, we've done most everything in the Gate of the Dead, to be honest. With the exception of getting through to the Dark Star Lord's Palace. Uh, what more can I do with hand with? I know there's more I can do in the Immortal Battlefield. But there's also stuff I can do in the SR Treetop now. A bunch of things, actually. Because among other things, if you pay attention, you will notice that this is a hole. Then also near. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay. The bird, the small one, is the actual thing we need to hit. Oh my god. But this arena is kind of tricky. Especially because there's lava. Oh, I keep falling. But as you can see, the health does not actually diminish. I'm, I'm super annoyed right now. I am super annoyed right now. I'm going to die here. But that's fine because the warp is so close. And I didn't die. Cool. I'm going to go heal and then come back to grab that chest. Ugh. It actually took me a while to get that boss properly figured out. And as you can see, even there, I just figured out the easiest way to freaking hit him consistently. That said, the first time I fought him, I did not have the katana. So... Did I? I might have at that point. Hmm. Why did I walk all the way over here? I could have reasonably had the katana at that point, actually. Oh well. But now I just need to get back into this room. That'll do. Could have avoided the lava. And that'll get us another Ankh Jewel, which we don't technically need at the moment, but I'll take it anyway. So we have three Ankh Jewels still. There's like two more to get. We have a vast majority of them. That is very obviously a destroyable thing. Because there's a hole here. And it brings us back into this room. Remember this room? I'm pretty sure I've been in this room. Have I been in this room? I don't know anymore. This is a room that I have have now been in. I'll find out once I get to that doorway there if I've been in this room or not. Because I do remember falling. Red Tascar fits flits between Yggdrasil's roots and treetop. But its body is an illusion. Its true body lies in the underworld. Hmm. Interesting thing to know. Mino! I cannot afford that. I did not get his thing there, so we have already been here. Okay, good to know. Um... Let's see... There is... There's that gate off to the right I can go visit. Um, actually... What's my health like? My health's fine. Let's go back to the Roots of Yggdrasil so we can go into the ice side without having to trek through the lava. Because there's a few things on the ice side I would like to wander around. Um... Uh, no, let's actually do this through the Immortal Battlefield. Because now that we have the uh, the anchor, we can walk on the bottom of water. Which was one thing that I needed, so technically that I could have had before fighting... Um, yeah, one thing I could have had before fighting um, Grimongan. Because that would have allowed me to come down here, place this weight. To access things from this side, so... Are you done? I hate these enemies so much. Allowing us access to this from this side. Which is useful. Not much we can do over here, though there is a sigil there that we can hit up. And we should presumably be able to access it if we come in through the Ice Fire treetops. Because there is another gate right there. And speaking of the Ice Fair treetops, well, it damages us, but we can walk through this now. So we can get over to this before. Good. Warping out of here. Healing up. Coming back shortly. I shouldn't have done that with as little health as I had, or I should have gone and talked to the dog and 
got the hot springs that let me ignore the damage. One of the two. Oh well. Just gotta run out and heal. Alright, and now we go back to the ice side of the Ice Fire Tree Tops. Because now we have good access to basically the entire treetop without having to do much work. Walk back over here. But yeah, presumably we want to go up that staircase there, which... Anything super obvious. Possibly something over here. But we will have to actually get up there. Get up here. Oh yeah, we can't even attack because it'll drop us. That's fine. I've cleared all the enemies out this time. All right. And if we walk all the way over... Oh, that is destroyable. So I was correct. I just have to do this a third time now. Because attacking as you balance, you fall. You can't jump, at least. A lot of this game is knowing, like, physically how things fit together and understanding the core, like, how it corresponds. Like, obviously, that ladder brought us down from the Immortal Battlefield. This one must take us up. Use that sigil, and the death laser disperses. Allowing us access over here. But what gets us over here? What was so important for us to access over here? No, very... If there's anything in this game that is pointless, there isn't, really. Here the moon rises. Speak to that effect. So let me show you how the Dej Pillar works. So the Dej Pillar is a usable item. You hold it up and you get hit by a Divine Retribution. If you go to ex mantra.exe and select a word, you instead chant that word. And in that case, that'll bring us up the, uh, bring us up something to be snapped. And this, as we already know, will get us the word for moon. Those of the underworld speak of a circling ring, of what is known as the moon. Those who seek must speak the name of Mani. Oh, hey, another chakra. And, well, in the first game, you would pick one mantra and that's what you would chant. In this game, you can chant multiple mantras. It is a much more in-depth puzzle mechanic. I wonder what will happen if you don't take these ruins seriously. You wind up like me, do as I say, not as I did. Take a good, long, hard look at yourself. Thanks, buddy, I'll keep that in mind. So that there is another mantra. Oh, oh, that's the mantra I'm missing. Durr. No, I've already gotten that one. Have I not gotten that one? I had to have gotten that one. I'm gonna go make sure I've gotten that one. The one that was in the cavern. Over here. Did I get that one? I thought I got that one. I could have not gotten that one, I suppose. Um, so this is the game I play now, isn't it? Alright. And now I just need to climb up. I'm glad I one-shot these jerks. Yes, out here, there were a few things. There was the outfit chest, which I've already opened because my saves, and there was this. Did I scan this? Yes, because that was sun. Okay. What am I missing then? I'm missing the first mantra. This should be the easiest one to find. What the crap could it be? I'm going back to Anwith. I I feel like Anwith is a place it could be. Um, I'm gonna have to buy more weights at some point. I do like the water effect. 
This game has a lot of nice visuals considering the style they went for. There's nothing up here. Um, wait, didn't I already get a mantra in here? Because wasn't there a mantra down, like, the room below me or over from that? Didn't I scan that already? Yeah, that's Earth. I already got that one. Earth is which mantra? Earth is the second mantra. So... I know if I go up, there was a mantra half hidden in the wall here. It wasn't a mantra per se, but it was a message. Ten virtual wise or ten mantras in the virtual wise men whose mastery over them are carved into the wall. So that tells us that the mantras are in the walls. Um, perhaps I need to go to the divine fortress to find one. Yes, yes, of course, that's the one I'm forgetting. There's one, like, oh, down below this room, there's a mantra. Right here. This should be the first mantra. The Aesir spoke of stat uh, scattered stars, of what is known as heaven. Those who speak must, or those who seek must speak the name of Hinmin. Hymen. Hymen. That is the first mantra of the mantra of heaven. We now have six mantras, which I think is as many as we get for now. But we also have a lot of puzzles that we can be solving about that. So let's take a look at our text again. Um, mantras. We can go back to Valhalla to make uh, to, to fulfill this one. Might as well, actually. Um, just to kind of show off a bit. All right, Valhalla's here. Just to show off this puzzle as well and get this one formally off the books. I would like to actually solve all the puzzles, so I will at some point be going back to uh, the Gate of the Dead, even though I don't care for that area too much. But if we come here, we select Heaven and the Dash Pillar. We chant Heaven in front of the Mimmer statue. You see his eye goes out, but there's a ladder here. Which gave us access up to here, and we would have been able to get up to there to get the uh, mantra of fire. Alright, so we can look at our text. We can delete this one. Hmm. Scream in the room where a kid is worshipped. Make your wishes heard. We don't have mantras for either of those. Um, we already have to treasure the dwarves. Secret Hidden, we do need that one, but we can't do it currently. I have Chaos. Can't words amongst the midst of the ominous Twisting Swelter. The two words that will illuminate day and night. That will lead to the Underworld Gate where Vidofener waits. We can go take care of that, actually. Might as well. Um... Yes, we can get there pretty quick doing this, going this way. How much health do I have? Enough. We have enough to get there. Now we just need to drop down through here. Through here, drop down. Come into this room with the poison lava. Crap, crap, crap. Poison lava. No joke. Which is why I jumped right back into it. Alright, this looks to be pretty centerish. So, if we were to go to our mantras, which lights up the uh, day and the night, the sun and the moon, of course. Ah, here it is. On oh, we have a warp directly above us, conveniently enough. Vidofner! Yep, yep, this is a bad place to be. We can't actually do anything to him right now. 
That's a boss, though. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I'm gonna end it off there, to be honest. Next time, we will go around putting more of our mantras to use. Let me get rid of that one, since we already have the access to him. Admits the ominous with his welter. We already have access to him, so we don't need that one. So next time, we will go around more and figure out where we can use more of the mantras we have to solve some puzzles. I will see you guys all next time. Later.